Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how you can create a specflow and unit project and then add APM library to it and then use it to test a Windows desktop application. So let's get started. First of all, I am going to create a new .NET project in a directory. I have created this directory already. I will run the command .NET space new space and unit and I will hit enter. So this will create a new and unit project inside of this directory. Once I have done that, I am going to go to the nuget.org forward slash packages is this website and over here I am going to search for appm and I'll hit enter. Here you see appm.webdriver is a package which we can add to our an unit uh, solution, an unit project. Okay, that is a .NET Core project. So I am going to go back over here and I will simply type .NET add package. Like dot net space add space package inside a pair of double quotes I will say appm dot web driver and I will hit enter. All right, so that operation has been performed successfully, and then I'm going to add packflow dot and unit package here like dot net space add space package. Space spec flow s and f r capital spec flow dot and unit and an u r capital. I will hit enter and then I will add the living doc plugin as well. Dot net space add space package space in a pair of double quotes spec flow dot plus dot living doc plugin okay and I will hit enter. Now once this much has been completed we can create some folders which can be utilized by specflow for example we can create a features folder I would say md space features and hit enter okay md space steps and hit enter and if you plan to use hooks, you can also do md space hooks and hit enter. Alright. And after this, I am going to open this project using VL Studio code. I will type code space dot. This will open the current folder in .NET code. And I will hit enter. Alright. So here you see. We also have a unit test1.cs file. I can simply right click it and I can delete it because we won't be using it. We will recycle bin. Okay, required asset to build and debug are missing. Okay, yeah, go ahead. C sharp extension, no problem. Here you can see that this project file has been created by our .NET new command and inside of it you can see that we have different packages which are installed okay this is xml so i am going to close this and next thing which we need to do is basically we need to add a gherkin file that is going to go in the features i will right click this and i will say new file and i would say run calculator dot feature so this is going to be our specflow feature file all right and inside of it i am going to put a name of the feature which will feature that let us suppose run calc that's the name of the feature and down below i am going to type a scenario scenario colon space run the calculator we won't do much in here 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई से गिवन आई लॉन्च द विंडोज कैलकुलेटर एप्लीकेशन ओके एंड दैट्स इट आई एम गोइंग टू सेव दिस फाइल एंड द नेक्स्ट फाइल विच आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट इज गोइंग टू गो इन साइड द स्टेप्स फोल्डर ओके and that is going to be named according to run calculator dot feature that is going to be run calculator step definition okay right click new file run calculator dot sorry run calculator step definition dot cs okay run calculator step definition dot cs that will be it all right and in here we are going to be using using an unit dot framework okay using tech talk dot spec flow and the apm as well using apm dot okay dot windows so this is the namespace we are going to bring it in here and i will also bring in some other namespaces which are open qa dot selenium all right so these namespaces will be included okay it says that there is an extension i say i will do it later on i need to create a binding file okay it is going to be a class over here i will say first of all namespace it could be any namespace because we have not uh, specified a default namespace i would say win app driver demo test automation tv anything okay it could be anything dot steps yeah okay namespace will go here and then we will have this binding thing binding and the class public sealed class run calculator step definition okay that simple i will save it and now in here i am going to create an instance of win app driver inside of this class it will be private static windows driver of windows element all right and i will call it session calc we can create a constructor over here too but i really don't need to the second thing which we are going to need is uh, an apm options right i can create it over here but i don't think i should be doing it so first of all i'm going to go back to the feature file and i'm going to bring in this guy from here and over here we will have a given okay like this and given we will remove from here so i need to add a pair of brackets here okay like this and underneath it i am going to define a step so let us define the step it, it is basically going to be a public method public void given i launch windows calculator application okay just like that does not have any parameter nothing so over here we are going to check if session cal equals to null then what are we going to do that is the case 
we are basically going to create a new instance of APM options. APM options, it is going to be options calc. All right, and options calc dot add additional capability, and it will be app and the application ID of the calculator. So I have already copied it and I am just going to paste it. Okay. Now what are we going to do next? We are going to create an instance of the Windows calculator. It will be session calc equals to new object and the first parameter here is going to be the URI of the winner driver. So I will hit enter and I will type this is actually better new URI okay so we need to bring in the namespace for the URI as well let us suppose the WinApp driver is running on our local machine. Port number is 4723. And the second parameter here will be options calc. That is going to be the second one. I am missing something, yeah, this one is actually additional. So, like this, okay. So, now we need to bring in the URI, I believe. So, the URI is defined in the namespace system. So we are going to bring in the system namespace as well using system, okay, semicolon. Now, you see that the URI error has been resolved. By doing this much, we will be able to launch the Windows Calculator. So I believe we are all set. Go to the command prompt. Okay, let me clear everything and I will type .NET space test. But before that, I need to launch the Win App driver, which is installed on my PC. Let me show you over here. So I am going to launch the Win App driver as well. So here you see WinApp driver has started on 127.0.0.1 on port number 4723. That's the value which we have specified here as well. Minimize the code here and now I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so the calculator has been launched. This means that the work which we have done so far was successful. I hope you found this video to be useful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any concerns, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. The link to my complete course about WinApp driver is also given in the description of this video. Do check it out. A lot of preview videos are also available in that course. The course is about uh, using APM WinApp driver. It is basically an introduction of APM and WinApp driver. So it will get you started with the APM and WinApp driver. So do check the course, subscribe, like, share, and do check the course. The link is in the description. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.